Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube. So in this video, we will learn about the important JavaScript concept called function curring. So this is also asked in many JS based interview. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, to understand the concept of a function cutting, we'll just write some code here. So I have a simple uh, HTML snippet here. I'll just create a function here called addition. So I'll just create a function called add. So which will take two arguments called A and B. And we'll basically log the result of an A and B to the console. So I'll just, uh, sorry. So I'll just add the result of A and B to the console here. And uh, okay, just to test it out, uh, I'll just call it so add four and five so if i save the program you see the nine is in the output so like this is quite simple so okay to understand the function curring i'll just take a uh, one more variable here called uh, i can call it anything so i'll call it add 50 and uh, then what i can do i will use add 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 dot bind then i will use a bind method here and then in the bind method i'll pass the two argument the first one will be the context that is this and then we can just pass uh, some fixed arguments for example 50. so what this bind method will do this will create a copy of this add function and will pass this 50 as a fixed argument to this a here so this will basically create a new function which will have a fixed argument of a as a 50 and now we can call this add 50 function with a single argument. So this is a concept of a function curring where we take any function and duplicate its functionality with some fixed argument. So now if I call add 50 with some fixed argument like 45, you will see the first time result is nine because the addition of four and five is nine. But when I use this add 50, you can see the result as 95 because this has basically created a copy of this function here and the 50 is being assigned as a fixed argument of a so yes this is a simple concept of a function curring although this can be implemented in many different ways but for sake of simplicity i have used a bind method here so you can also use other approaches which we make over in the future videos but uh, for this video you can try to create some function and uh, make its duplicate copy with the fix some arguments and uh, make the reusability of code basically so i hope you do got the idea about the function growing and if you have any issue with the program please let me know in the comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so meanwhile take care and see you soon